Okay. Okay. What's up you guys? This is Mrs. Radex and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, let's hump. <laughs> let's hump our slush thunder and just get get humped by this craziness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale from 1 to 10, you're a 9, and I'm the one you need. Oh, come on. You're at least a 3. <laughs> I'm a 2. Burnt. <laughs> I'm a 2, you see? We're 2 in the pictures. I'm a 2. Yeah, Carlotta. <laughs> Carlotta vagina, because there's two of them. Which one are you, the ugly one or the less ugly one? Uh, Both. Is that what Tinder's about? You're just supposed to burn, like, people who are looking for affection? Uh, oh, that's burnt. She's super burnt. Ah, uh, burnt. Look at you, burnt, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Got him. I think she's... What she's trying to say is, like, I'm the one you need. Like, I'm the one you're looking for. Yeah, but then he called her a three <laughs> to, like... It's called negging, okay? You tell a woman that they don't look as good as they look, and then they lower their standards for you. And that's essentially what he's doing. I don't really get into Tinder, you know, but um, I guess it's funny. Funny haha. I get next. Hi, boo. What up, B? Oh, 64 miles away? Damn. Let me go on a run real quick and make that 69. <laughs> nice. You run 2.5 and I run 2.5. 69 is all about compromise. Oh, this relationship's off to a booming start, isn't it? <laughs> he didn't respond it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Day five of pretending to be a dolphin trainer on Tinder. So far, nobody's questioned how I train a saltwater mammal in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at the dolphin, though. It's so happy. He's having a good <laughs> fucking time. It's like, yay. <laughs> Some touching. This is what I want. A love. A pure love. From from a guy with big ears and a shaved head. I'm a dolphin, so fuck me. No, don't do that. Please. <laughs> he doesn't have a huge ears, though. His ears are pretty big, dude. It's a uh, potter shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> uh, this was posted to, from 2019, though. Like from a Twitter. Repost. Yeah. Anyhow, it's funny. Okay, next. I hate it when boys only say, hey, as an opener. Uh, why don't you text them first then? So I could say, hey. Mm, I don't want a solution. I want to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's how it be. Did you text me first? Huh? You did text me first. Yeah, because I saw your picture with uh with your uh with the dildo on your hand. <laughs> yeah, not your dildo, just a <laughs> dildo, okay? <laughs> and you're so happy about it. I was. It was very exciting. Yeah, that's that's the first thing that got me, you know? That I know I'm how like, to use sex toys. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. I mean, they're like, you found a match and stuff like that. And I saw your picture and I'm like, "Ooh, good looking." And then I check your pictures, so I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. And then I saw your your dildo picture. I'm like, oh, I'm going to send him a message. <laughs> what was your first message to me? Huh? What was your first message? What did it say? Uh, hey? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot. Nah. Seems like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? I forgot what I said, but I remember when, you know. It's yeah. from, yeah, March 27th. Forgot what you said? But it worked. Whatever you said. <laughs> it I think I worked. said hi. Oh, that'll work. Yeah. Yeah. Not hey. <laughs> That's even shorter. Hi. <laughs> hi you. <laughs> hi you. Hi you. This animal in Tagalog. We're learning. Hi you. <laughs> hi you. <laughs> and then she found out that I am an animal. <laughs> oh, this is really sad. She has a sense of humor about it. Read it. You know what I can't stand? Sorry, let me re-emphasize. You know what? I can't stand. <laughs> 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 
She's funny. <laughs> That's really funny. I would date her. Yeah. I would definitely date her. Give her a chance just because uh, she's got a sense of humor. Come on, she still have legs and arms, and definitely she still have vagina and titties and mouth, and yeah, everything that you need. That's and right. hand. Show That's me what that need. mouth do. Oh, she's gonna do great. <laughs> <laughs> What? I'm really looking forward to that. She can stand <laughs> all the pain. You just you, you just do her That's and she true. can stand the pain. That's true. You don't even need to be yeah. conscious of what she likes or anything. You just fucking ram your battering. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we gotta end it now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Isabel. I have this friend Dave who's running on a pretty dry streak and is in desperate need of a blowjob. Think you could help him out? He's not even ugly. If you were a true friend today, you give him one yourself. Oh God! <laughs> Why this? <laughs> that's like that's not a blow job. That's a bro job. Get it? Cause you're just bros. You're just a couple of bros blowing each other. No problem. It's not gay. I mean, it's Come a little on, gay. They just want. They just want to help. Yeah. Lend him a hand or a mouth. Yeah, like why you sell your friend to random chicken uh, Tinder? Because here's what happened, okay? He used fake pictures to get a match, and then he introduces, like, he's actually Dave, you know? So he's catfishing, but in a way that's, like, more clever than the normal catfishing. So she doesn't expect to see this fake guy that he's not. He, instead, she's expecting to, to come over and blow Dave, you know, because the, the fake friend asked her to. This is never going to fucking work. <laughs> I think it's just insane for this friend to, you know, ask some chick for reals. Like, hey, would you give a blowjob to my friend? I think he really needed it. The friend is not real. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just like. You know, he does it for himself. Like, come on, my friend is too moody these days. You gotta help him out. <laughs> <laughs> Release the stress hormones. Come on, please help him. This is not a solid foundation for a relationship, okay? Okay. <laughs> you can ask me any question, okay? And I have to answer it with complete honesty. Go, okay? Okay. Would you rather look like a Jaja Binks? Or talking like a Jar Jar Binks. You can't kill yourself. <laughs> oh, how rude. <laughs> you look like a Jar Jar Binks. Or you talk like a Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> you want to know the truth? Yeah. That's the truth. You can't handle the truth. Misa already talk like Jar Jar Binks. Clap, clap. Hi. Hey. Hey! What's up? I will delete my account, Smiley. Take care! <laughs> okay, bye! What, what is that? <laughs> she said hi, and you said hey, and she's like, oh. I'm just gonna delete this whole shit. <laughs> yeah, Goodbye. I, don't like, I don't like it here. <laughs> Maybe she met somebody. I mean, this was like 10 oh, hours in between, right. you see? Yeah. So she's just like, okay. I gotta go now. That's true. You're too slow. Fucking wait nine hours, yeah. ten hours to respond. <laughs> Early well, bird gets the gets the gets the gets the worm. Quite literally, the worm is a penis. Okay. Okay. So um, tell me a fun fact about yourself. Um, I have died one day of it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, hmm. Very interesting. I'm 23% deaf. About to be 50% after I'm moaning your ears. Ooh, oh. sunglasses emoji. Wow, gotta be careful. She got huge mouth. Yeah, she's like a supersonic jet engine. You're just fucking in the bed. <laughs> the supersonic jet in your ear. She gets such a huge mouth. You're gonna go blind and deaf. Deaf? Deaf? Deef. Deef. No, it's deaf. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> how, how dare you? She got such a big <laughs> mouth, your dick won't hit the bottom, but you yeah, can like, fuck the sides uh, up. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, moan right in, uh, right on his ear. Like a fucking jet engine. Oh wait, wait, wait! I think yeah, it's not because she got a huge mouth. I think because she got a huge ass. Yeah, she thicky. Yeah, even her ass moans. That's a fart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fooled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on. There we go. You match with Maxwell. See? Oh, it's a guy. See? The thing is that I actually own a flashlight. <laughs> so, my idea for a romantic night is for us to bring our sex toys when we meet up. It will be beautiful. You put your vibrating dildo into my flashlight and we can just leave them there to enjoy themselves while we have a nice cup of tea and discuss philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> what? A dildo, a dildo date? <laughs> Maxwell, you're a weird guy. Uh, that's why nobody responded. That's why <laughs> she didn't respond. <laughs> yep, just a big nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm so horny, but also I love philosophy. <laughs> Let's have a nice cup of shut the fuck up. <laughs> good try, good try. Yeah, like, I a for effort, I guess. Yeah, I think it's uh, what he's trying to say is like, hey, I'm not just delicious, I'm smart too. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah. Anybody can say let's discuss philosophy, but does he actually have any views on philosophy? Come on, he's smart, he spelled the word philosophy <laughs> perfectly. Is that all it takes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great, we're in, boys. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cute dog. <laughs> can I have them? No. Heart, heart. Can Can I have you instead, then? That was smooth. Also kind of creepy, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> smooth creepiness. <laughs> It's all just a facade to make you drop your guard with me, and then we'll fall in love and move to Hawaii and get married, but I work too much, so we argue, and then we decide it's time for us to split up, and I get the dog and the divorce, and in the end, it was all for the dog. What a cute dog that is so good at dreaming. It's nice to have dreams. Dreams are fun. Yeah, that's why they call it a dream, because you can dream as much as you want. That's right. Pardon me, madam. <laughs> Can I treat you like a snowstorm? Give you six to seven inches? Make it mildly inconvenient for you to walk and leave a mushy mess afterwards? <laughs> that sounds so relevant. Oh, oh I'm so horny. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting for the pickup lines to happen? Everyone just acts like they genuinely want to get to know me, and I have nothing to screenshot for my friends to laugh at. I'm so happy right now. Like, literally happy right now. Yay! Joy! What is that? <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny, but yeah, this is really kind of gross, too. Yeah, right? It's the essence of Tinder. Like, hey, if I do a pickup line good enough, can I put my penis inside you? This is insane that, yeah, I thought Tinder is like for dating. Why is this thing happening? It's for dating, but it's also for fucking. Really? Yeah, sure. Whatever. All I could say is he's not sure about his penis size. Six to seven inches? That means four. That yeah. means four to five. <laughs> yeah, don't believe that. <laughs> You need to confidently say eight, and then you know it's like six or seven. Yeah, and he said, make it mildly inconvenient. He's not even sure if this really could give her uh, inconvenience. Yeah, you want you want that bitch to be paralyzed after you're yeah, done. If, Smash her spine. <laughs> if, you're, <laughs> if you're too confident of your, your fitness size, you'll be like, you want to give me, you, you want me to give you this size, something like that? It will give you such inconvenience that you can't even walk home. I'm going to give you 11 inches and slip your fourth and fifth vertebrae out of alignment. So every time you stand up, it'll pinch a nerve in your back and you can't even fucking walk. And you'll remember me. <laughs> and there will also be a mushy mess. I remember you. Yeah, you remember me. You better. <laughs> That's right. 
Yeah, that's right. Who are you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your best body hiding tips. This you wanna dig down, not across. They look for that dirty potter. <laughs> you dig eight feet down, bury body with fingerprints, burn hair, burn and teeth, full body covered in yogurt, so bacteria decays it faster. Then you bury up to seven feet. In the last foot, you bury a dead rabbit, so sniff dogs smell that they, 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 they think it's a dog. Lastly, plant endangered fungi to help with the camp and and makes it illegal to dig up to to dig up yogurt <laughs> that's the part that got you is the fucking yogurt <laughs> okay they caught it yep but you see it right you got lol it makes sense lol it makes sense <laughs> now i'm gonna totally bury a dead body this lady is a totally uh murderer. It's a total murder murderer, I mean. She's she she knows exactly what to do. Women watch like crime scene investigation oh. shit all the time. Bless you, honey. Yeah, I guess, but she's pretty precise. Like you dig eight feet down. <laughs> well you just you fake it till you make it, you see? You gotta look like you know what you're talking about. Do you think she copied Copy pasted this too? Nope. Oh man, I'm out. <laughs> How are you even gonna get to the Google page that tells you that? <laughs> Cover a body in yogurt and shit? <sighs> the fuck? Do you really speak English or translator? Okay, look, okay. I literally, I literally work <laughs> as a translator, okay? I love your Arab voice. Also, I'm teaching at the university, okay? <gasps> Cool, but you speak English, like fluent. Like super fluent, okay? <laughs> Look at me. Look at me in my face, okay? Now and send me your tits. Now send me Bob and Bajin, okay? Please. <laughs> Please do now. Only, only only, pay me that. This is why I download Tinder. You show me Bob and Bajin. <laughs> Whatever, stupid bitch. <laughs> nice guys! Crossover. Hey! What's one thing you want to do in 2021 that you didn't get to do in 2020? Die! <laughs> die, die what? <laughs> die fucking? <laughs> die, die coming? Just die. Any way I get there is fine. <laughs> well, die now. It's Working fine. on it. Ooh. Oh, here's a love story. Oh. Love story. Aww. We matched on June 2020, 2,000 miles, miles away. Yesterday, she, she said, said yes. yes. I got down on my knee with my big old neck, beard, and a ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, Marry yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marry me, you bitch yeah, from yeah, Tinder. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. she said yes, also. <laughs> From my experience on Tinder, I have learned that women are like wands in Harry Potter, and it's really the one that chooses the wizard, of course. I guess I happen to be a muggle. Hey, Harry Potter is still relevant for some reason. <laughs> Good job. Read another fucking book! God, I'm so angry today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Wah! Wah! Wah, Luigi! Yay! Waha! Wahoo! Okay, so tell me for real, do you think do you think birds are real or, or are they just drones? Drones, no doubt. The government is ever watching. I'm afraid you might know too much. Oh shit, I said too much already. This platform is no longer safe to speak on. I need your number before it's too late. Hmm. <clears throat> My number is classified information. Your profile literally says you work for the government. I don't trust you! I am the government, and we found you. You aren't fooling anyone, but you never find me. I'm gone underground before you, and I can do it again. Why is the government after me specifically? Specifically. 
<laughs> because you know about the birds. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know so much more. Like what? I know a portion of what goes down at Area 51. <laughs> it's getting weirder. And the involvement of extraterrestrials. And I know that not only are birds drones, squirrels are also open as spy robbers. Trust no small rodent. <laughs> Who told you this? I've been in the situation room all day! Hmm. If I told you that I'd be compromised, I have intel. I have a whole fucking network. You already have been compromised. <laughs> the CIA is on their way now! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my stomach hurts now. <laughs> I'm tired of laughing. <laughs> My location has already changed since that last night we spoke. Good luck. I am ever on the move. <laughs> Silly girl. We're tracking your phone. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm running my phone through an incognito server and therefore I can't be tracked. Oh, well, I run that server. Damn. <laughs> You better than I thought. Initiating phone distraction? I will continue to speak with you through another device and a different server. Well, I'm the NSA. I am everywhere and I am nowhere. Oh my, thank you for telling me who you actually are. I have all of the information I need. So do I. <laughs> What? What information? All of it! <laughs> Both of you so fucking weird. <laughs> well, you better go saw! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for backup! <laughs> if you want to make more money and keep the money you make... You better call saw! <laughs> better call saw! <laughs> it's really such a great show. When's it coming back, Netflix? Tell me. Okay. Okay, unless... Unless... You can help me take them down from the inside. I'm listening. Oh, I can't discuss that on this platform. Have we been compromised? Yes. We must move to a more secure system. How do I know I can trust you with my number? This could be a trap. I'll be honest with you. You can't. It's all a calculated risk. This is by far the most risky thing I have ever Done. <gasps> Together we risk it all. Together we fall. And I got that bitch's phone number though. <laughs> <laughs> phone? What? She gave her phone number to him. Oh. Well, it's too late. So now they can go be weird on another platform. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had enough. You had enough, Mr. Reddix? Yeah, that's about it for me. It was uh, a long, beefy, yes. juicy... Meaty post. <laughs> okay, let me know how you feel about this. Tell me, tell me honestly. Tell me honestly. If you're, you're so bored with me watching my content tonight. And has many pictures with famous, <laughs> famous athletes. Famous athletes. Like, like, like Mike Tyson. <laughs> hey, I, I'm coming in the club <laughs> with the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think my boyfriend is really a bad person. Oh, why would you think that? I guess we'll see. Hi, everyone. So my boyfriend's 23 and I'm 22 as well. Super young. Super young. We've been dating a long time, over four years. He might be growing apart. I originally fell for him because he was such a teddy bear, kind and thoughtful. But the last while he's been miserable, depressed, not in a good place at all. Well, really, the last year especially. He's just been a real piece of shit. <laughs> and I'm not really talking about me. I'm going to start typing out some examples. For reference, I'm not trying to sound like I'm all great. I think of myself as a compassionate person. I feel empathy deeply, and I am sensitive. She just said it. She is sensitive. Sensitive people react on almost everything. Overly sensitive? Huh? Overly sensitive? Not overly sensitive, you know. 
it's not good if you're not sensitive to. But yeah. Well, I won't judge her yet. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. I'm just saying. One of the big things I learned in school is racism. And specifically big issues involving indigenous people. I tried to tell him about things I learned and the horrible things that indigenous people have been through. And he responds with, Good! Fuck them! Dirty Indians! <laughs> wow. And he goes on to talk about how they're all drunks and losers. I feel sick when he says this and I tell him to stop and that he needs to re-educate himself on the issues and be more kind. And about racism towards black people, he calls them the N-word. And if he sees a video or a movie and a black person is doing something bad, he'll say, Fucking that word we don't say. <laughs> But of course, if a white person is doing something, he doesn't bring race into it. <laughs> and another thing is women. He's made countless jokes about them. He'll be scrolling through TikTok, and if a girl is unattractive or overweight, he'll say something rude and won't find their video worthy. He only watches things with hot girls. And he'll say something that implies, If he doesn't think they're hot, they're not worthy of respect. Basically, wow. he makes jokes that run along the lines of, Women are here on this earth to look good for me, and that's it. It makes me fucking sick. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got some issues. Organizer. Yeah. For the next part, I'm going to add the fact that my boyfriend is very overweight himself. <laughs> <laughs> Irony. It sounds fishy. Yesterday, I showed him a cute couple video I saw on TikTok, and it was two lesbians, and one of them was on the manlier side. And he said, EW! As soon as I showed him. And I said, what? And he said, that's gross! And I said, why? And he said, I only like lesbians that look like that! And he pointed to a hot blonde who was kissing another very hot girl. Today, his friends uploaded a video on TikTok of a guy getting caught having sex with a fat chick. And a bunch of guys were recording it. I asked him, why does it matter if she's fat? And I said, does he have her consent to even upload that? And he said, who cares? She's a fat bitch. Oh, He's so mean. <laughs> and I said, are you kidding me? How would you feel if some girl uploaded a video of you having sex with her and everyone was laughing because you're fat? And he says, brace yourself. I'm different. She's a girl. <laughs> I think this might have been the breaking point for me. He just said it's different because she's a girl. Basically reinforcing the fact that girls are here solely to please him. And the fact that he didn't care his friend was uploading without consent. Ah, I've been with him so long. I'm disgusted by the way that he is and the things that he says sometimes. He's actually a horrible person. He always says the N-word. He says natives are pieces of shit and fuck them. He's hateful on TikTok to anyone who's different. And I've seen him bully a 16-year-old girl on TikTok. He says horrible things about trans folk. How the fuck did I end up with someone who was hateful like this? What the fuck did I do? Okay, uh, I want to see how old is this story first. Seven hours ago, I think my first opinion in this is, you know, uh, pandemic hit us just, just a year ago. And she said, they've been dating for four years. That could be like, you know, LDR or working most of the time, not together all the time. You get what I mean? <laughs> and that's the time when she can't keep track of how this guy really is. Like... But right now, they've been together almost every day, probably, because, yeah, because of lockdown or pandemic. And yeah, that's the time when she gets to learn the most of him. <laughs> so you think that he's been this way the entire time? Yeah. And I think, you know, like she said, he kind of liked that before. But yeah, the last year, like, probably that's the time when they're together most of the time. And, you know... You will never really know who this person is until you spend, you know, spend your everyday with them. And then right, the, baby? the ugly things start to come out. Yeah. And that's the challenge. It's just a matter of, you know, if you're going to accept this person as who they really are or, yeah, just let it go. And basically, you're with him for four years and, yeah, I'm surprised... I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. If they're 22 and 23 now, then they would have been 18 and yeah. 19 when they got together. Yeah. And that is still like a big uh, phase of change. People are still yep. developing their opinions and stuff. And 
It sounds to me like he's been radicalized a little bit, especially online in the past four years. I don't think that this relationship is going to last. So while I, I'm not sure if you're trying to help him or if you're just like looking for, should I bail? Because honestly, I think you should bail. I think he's beyond help. But if you're really determined to, then maybe you guys could see a therapist, specifically him. But both of you should, probably should go together. I mean, you know, start up a relationship. Maybe first year is the hardest because that's the time when both of you still have the mask on. And then as the year goes by, that's when the mask on is kind of falling off a little bit, little bit. And yeah. Yeah, you start farting in front of each other. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember? <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> okay, let's, let's read this comment and see what people think about this story. The Pizza Carnival says, simplest answer, dump him and run. This man, no, boy, has no compassion for groups outside of his own, and that includes you. He's clearly a racist and misogynistic, one of which will definitely be used against you at some point in your relationship if you... You're right. Yeah, keep going. If you, one, haven't already experienced it, or two, don't leave immediately. Seems like he's done little to nothing to show affection or any emotional response in the relationship. Is this really someone that you want to show to your parents, grandparents, friends, etc.? I strongly encourage you to leave this relationship. Best of luck. I'm always available if you need help. Yeah, I think it's like if he talks like that, he acts like that, and basically he don't value women. So why would you, you know, risk your precious time with this kind of guy? Just, yeah, just if you think if you think that it's not really worth it and it's not... It's never gonna change. Just, just yeah, let it go, man. It's not the only fish in the ocean, in it. <laughs> not by a long shot. I mean, honestly, I think that this post is kind of like attention-seeking, validation stuff. Because, like, honestly, who would stick around? Do you really even need to ask at this point? It seems like you've made up your mind. Yeah. So you if that's the case, mind. then fucking bail. Like, you don't need Reddit to tell you to bail. <laughs> Yeah, you're in charge of your own life and your own happiness. Okay, let's move on. Onward we move. Yes. My 30M partner, 36F, made a bizarre rant about large penises. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> right. Even it's covered, I knew it's penises. When she was on Ambient. I think it's like a sleep aid yeah. or something. So, I'm not even sure where to begin. I've been with my partner for three years, and nothing like this has ever happened. My partner takes 10 milligrams of Ambien every night, but sometimes she'll take two pills if she can't fall asleep. She's had really bad insomnia her whole life. When she takes more than one pill, sometimes she'll get up and do stuff like cook or watch TV in a half-dream state. I've tried to bring her back to bed, but she gets violently angry if I try to make her do anything while on Ambien. Two nights ago, she took some Ambien and got up and started cooking. She came back to bed with an egg sandwich and began to eat it. She asked me if I wanted any and I said no. She then proceeded to go into a 10 minute rant about all the large penises she had before. <laughs> she was a cock- Oh no! <laughs> yeah, this, this, this ain't gonna end well. She was a cocktail waitress at a very popular club in Miami and has many pictures with famous athletes when she was in her early 20s. She kept talking about large penises while eating, and it was strange because she was very calm the entire time, like she was reading an encyclopedia entry or something. <laughs> God, I love this. <laughs> she talked about what they felt like and how they oh stretched her out to the point. <laughs> And how they stretched her out to the point where she wasn't sure she'd ever be normal again. And how one time, she was double penetrated by the largest penises that she had ever seen, and so I'm, on. I'm wondering if she described it as like, oh, you can get the biggest dick, you know, Americans is kind of second in the top. Stuff like that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't like this. America's number one, okay? Yeah. Let's make America great again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not having fun in this episode. I tried not to listen, but she kept going 
and going about the penises. I relate to you, OP. Even in this fucking moment, I relate to you. And I hate it, too. It was very strange, though, because she didn't talk in an excited manner at all. It's just like she was reading a document or something. She kept saying, Oh, you don't know what a huge penis feels like. <laughs> this gives me a headache. <laughs> I didn't bring it up the next morning, but oh, no. I have to admit that this conversation really disturbed me. I had no idea she had this kind of past, and I don't want to judge her for her past because that doesn't really matter in the here and now. But still, I feel a little upset for some reason, and I'm finding it really hard to cope with this. Can someone tell me what she meant by this? What would possess her to say these things? Was she just making it up because of her sleeping medication? Okay. Uh, yeah, before we judge her or, yeah, we say anything about this, let's check what other people says about this. Ah, uh, she was drugged up. There's no other reason why she would say these things. I'm sure she would be mortified if she knew what she'd said. Yeah, because she's saying the truth and the truth came out. <laughs> no, no, no. It may be true. It may not be true. It doesn't really matter, but if you need reassurance from her, then you should just ask. Just don't blame or shame or accuse her of anything. That's a, a very fair and balanced yeah, comment. That's true. It's a conversation that needs to happen at the end of the day, especially now that she's the one that brought it up, drugged or not. And yeah, the best way to get reassurance is by keeping open communication with your partner. Communication is the key. The more you communicate, the more you understand each other. And the more you understand how a gigantic penis feels. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Got him. <laughs> she's ready to tell you the story about that because she's drugs and she knows that you know that she's drugged. Is that right? Yeah, I, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, there's there's some part of our life like experiences that we could hardly we don't we don't even know how we could start that conversation with our partner. You get what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, oh, what if he found out about this? Or what if what if she find she find out about this? Like, how would she feel? How would she react? Is she gonna get mad, upset? Is she is she or he gonna leave me? You know, stuff like that. And probably that's the time when she she feels so relaxed and comfortable. And that's the time when yeah, she she's trying to open up those kind of things. You know, that's even presuming that it's real at all. It is real. I'm a woman too. And this is a woman's story. But you had a giant penis inside you? No! <laughs> Did it stretch you to the point where... Jesus Christ! That's so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> this is just based on being a woman, okay? Alright, alright. Go off. Women will not talk about huge penises unless it's real. Yeah, exactly. Girls, friends, we talk about our partner's penises is your partner's penis is big how big it is stuff like that you know it's lady stuff come on let's let's, move let's on. be real <laughs> <laughs> let's move on that's so weird because guys don't really talk about their woman's vagina and shit oh girls talk about everything <laughs> like if you're just like a one night hookup or whatever then okay <laughs> i'll talk about like her tits were lopsided and shit <laughs> but if if you're t if you're dating somebody and you you're talking to your guy friends and they mention like your wife's pussy or something, then you fucking punch them. Like, hey, don't talk about my wife's fucking pussy. That's mine, not yours. Yeah, that's the difference between girls, I guess. Now let's move on to the next story. Probably our last one for today. But don't worry, guys. We're gonna give you more tomorrow. Leave us some comment. <laughs> my wife loves the comments. <laughs> I do love the comments. It really melts melts my heart, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm speechless, Jesus. Last story. <laughs> I'm 23F. Boyfriend is 23M. Cheated on me while I was undergoing treatment for cancer. Oh my. Should I still forgive him or break up? This this sounds like a story from Darman's story. I don't even need to read you the, know? the I don't even need to read the story. Just break up. What's wrong? Write write down in a comment if you're watching Darman's uh <laughs> Darman's videos. You know, Darman's. You see, you know, are you familiar with that? I hope you enjoyed you see? that message. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that message. Stuff like that. 
this is yeah this is like the same story as as what they showed in Darman you know the lady with the cancer and she's undergoing treatment and the husband decided he wants to cheat with the non-cancerous lady <laughs> how can i say that that's fine yeah yeah he decided he doesn't wanna i he decided he wants to cheat with the non-cancerous lady something like that and ended up like having divorce with his wife and then the wife get over i mean if you know the darman you would basically relate to this story while we're reading it okay let's see what happened just when I thought I hit rock bottom with my cancer diagnosis in the middle of a pandemic in my mid-20s, oh, my boyfriend wow. cheated on me. It's like being dragged through the dirt after an already painful fall. He told me, It's a one-time thing. He regretted it in the middle of the act and didn't push through with it. He came clean to me a few days later and repeatedly apologized for his mistake. It was with an acquaintance after a night of drinking with other friends. They did things but did not have actual sex this happened a few days ago just as i ended my last chemotherapy session i'm yet to have my last scan to see if i'm already in remission i'll have that scan in a few weeks we had a relatively healthy relationship prior to this we've been together for four years now he's kind and honest no manipulation whatsoever when he came clean i even thought it was a prank since i couldn't imagine him doing this sort of thing when I got diagnosed, I gave him the option to break up with me, but he chose to stay. He was there for me throughout the entire treatment and didn't show any signs of dissatisfaction over our relationship. In explaining why he did such a thing, he told me he got flattered that someone showed interest in him. Oh my. Bullshit. He also made it clear that this was not about me having cancer and undergoing treatment. I don't know what to do. I'm so lost. I could imagine myself forgiving him, but I'm just not sure I should still get back together. I don't think I should be dealing with something as big as this right now. So yeah, uh... Don't stay with him! Don't do it! <laughs> Let's wrap it up. Like, uh... Value his honesty, but also... You gotta respect yourself, you know? Once a cheater, is always a cheater. You get what I mean? Right. Right. Once somebody cheated on you, we have to move on. Moving on is like respecting ourselves. I hope you enjoyed that message. I hope you enjoyed that message. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're not we're not telling story. We're we're changing lives. We're changing lives. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And see you on the next video. <laughs> I guess a good outro. <laughs> We should steal that outro. He's <laughs> <laughs> so bad. He's so bad. I gotta start, baby. <gasps> Married to a half a year and still a virgin? How is that even possible? Married for half a year, still <laughs> a virgin. <laughs> no way. Oh, bro. I, it might be true. Let's see. I am a 28-year-old male with a 24-year-old wife. We were married last year. We're both Christians and both decided and agreed to not have a sexual relationship until marriage. Okay, I get that. Yep. Upon our marriage night, after three years of dating wow. and one year of engagement, though, she begins to complain about her stomach, of which she does have pains. And being who I am, I told her not to worry about it and that I loved her and we went to bed. What? You guys didn't bang on the first night of the honeymoon? What? This is this a bad start already. Ever since then, nothing. Huh. She, <laughs> she does not want to even try having sex at all. And I'm not happy with it in the slightest. What? And have only recently begun pushing her to have sex, which is causing us to fight. She keeps saying we will, but we never do. And every time she gives a new excuse or another one of actually having intercourse and she will barely do anything foreplay related unless I twist her arm about it. Wow. Jesus. I'm normally an easygoing guy. My philosophy on life is to be a blade of grass in the wind. <laughs> Go with the flow. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> and only worry about the big problems. But for me, this is a big problem because I do not feel respected or oh, loved no. as a man. I feel like an ATM machine, 
a wow. butler, a chauffeur, a cook, a handyman, wow. unwilling father, because my wife is basically like a kid in my point of view at this point, based on the relationship dynamic. Wow. Holy Jesus. But not a husband. She says I'm abusing her by bringing it up later, but I feel like I'm the one being abused here. I'm growing oh, colder no. towards her, and I'm trying not to be, but when she keeps nagging, bossing me around, and relying on me to help her with her own personal responsibilities with no degree of independence, it's extremely taxing on me. And the fact that she won't even show, no, prove that she loves me by having sex with me breaks my heart. I love her so much, but sex is really breaking this relationship oh, yeah. for me. <laughs> oh, I'm finding no. that I don't want to listen to her, don't want to do anything for her, but I do because I love her and that's my duty as a husband, but yeah, resentment is growing and I'm starting to talk back. Am I a bad person for wanting to have sex with my wife after three years of courting her? Jesus Christ, <laughs> of course, dude. You deserve that fucking vagina. <laughs> Why am I always feeling like the bad guy while also feeling so hurt and alone? I genuinely love her, but any attempts at trying to discuss it turns into whataboutisms and what I do wrong, when the truth is, a lot of those whataboutisms are because we aren't having sex and resentment about that. I work seven days a week. I'm not a perfect person, but I deserve to be loved, damn it. He's so bad. He's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Even our little boy says it's so bad. He knows. Which it is. <laughs> what the hell? So he's still a virgin. He's still a virgin? I wonder if she's still a virgin. I don't think she is. I don't know. Maybe she is. She might She might be, and that might be where a lot of this like hesitation comes from. Maybe she's scared, you know? Yeah, I could. she could be a virgin, but she, yeah. As a married couple, you're expected to have sexual relationship with your partner and yeah guys man they need sex yo get the poison yeah. out <laughs> baby help years, me get the poison out after three years he's yeah he truly deserved that come on no three years of dating one year of courtship yeah. a half year of marriage so that's four and a half years almost yes. half a decade and they haven't banged once you're <laughs> You're literally 24. It's so uh, impossible not to fucking rape your husband same night, right after you get married. That's how it's supposed to be? Yeah, you would have teared his fucking clothes. Like, hey, come on. <clears throat> so you Four think years. she's getting some on the side or what? Uh, I think, yeah, the problem with her is I think she's watching a lot of porn. Chalat. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably jerking off somewhere or something, you know. Something's going on. Something is going on. It's either uh, she's not really in love with you because, you know, loving someone is like giving your, you know, your butt in your heart, of course. In your mind. In your, in your soul. your mind. In your soul. And literally, if she's uh, having some resentment over, over lovemaking after so many years of being together, then that's something, something is going on. And if it always end up with a fight, then there's no commitment, you know? Yeah. Like, she doesn't really care about how you feel at all. It seems so. It seems like it's uh, just an advantageous relationship for her to be in because she gets chores done, she gets money from you, she yeah. gets, she gets, she gets, but she doesn't give. So, you're right to feel resentful. I don't think that forcing her or twisting her arm, as you put it, is... The right thing to do when it comes to sex no. like that's that's gonna cause her resentment and it's all gonna blow up in your face so open communication is the key open Just, communication that's right yeah ask her why why don't you want to do this just have a, a very frank discussion about it yeah we don't know we don't really know her side you know because we're only reading your side but based on your stories oh my like lack of there's a lot of miscommunication in this relationship, but also, uh, yeah, like, if if she's not into it, you gotta walk away, dude. Like, she literally doesn't, yeah, you don't deserve her, you know? You deserve some someone better that will cherish you and love you and, yeah, genuinely uh, give the same amount of love that you're given, 
you know? Yep. You, can, you can't just be there and support her monetarily because you're the husband. It's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, relationship is not about you're the husband now. You gotta give me, you know, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta give me. You know, or else you, nobody would get yeah, married. You gotta, it's a two-way street. You gotta pay. You gotta pay him back. You gotta pay his all his hard work. You know, it's like, oh, it's your paycheck tomorrow. You gotta bang it tonight. Stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually, that's yeah, the way it goes in it our house. It makes you feel better, and it. <laughs> it's like, oh, I got, I get what I deserve. Something like that. I worked real hard for this. Yeah, guys are very up to sexual. Now part. you're gonna work real hard to get it too. <laughs> Yeah, guys are very sexual, and without sex, oh my, good luck. So, OP, you gotta walk away. If she doesn't want to sort it out with you, basically, it's not worth staying in this kind of relationship, you know? Like... How did you stay in it this long? Yeah, That's like I'm the surprised. patience of a saint. I'd be like, okay, we're married. After a couple months, you still don't want to do it? I'm like, all yeah. right, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> you're 28, you're still virgin. You don't even know if she's still virgin and you don't even know if it's the reason why she doesn't want to do it, you know? She doesn't want to communicate to you. And if she doesn't want to communicate, that means it doesn't work, you know? Yep. Yeah. Like, where's the vow? Like, for better or for worse, you know? And everything. Are you saying that for him or for her? No, for, for both of them. Yeah. Like... You know, when you get married, you say a vow, and literally, she don't take it seriously. <laughs> and yeah, there's no reason to stay in a relationship. Very sad situation. Yep. Okay. You got. If you get. If you. If. If. How. How old is this thread? It's pretty recent. April twenty seven. So Opie, if you could. If you could uh, watch our YouTube, something like that, and you hear my words. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Shut up. What I'm saying is like, yeah, open it up, dude. Like, communicate. Yeah, communicate. And if she doesn't want to communicate still, then you got to walk away. Yep. Life is too short. You got to make it work. No one to hold them. No one to yes. fold them. Yep. That's what Kenny Rogers said. Yep. And he banged Dolly Parton. So. <laughs> <laughs> Life is short. Be happy. You know, be happy. You gotta be happy. You gotta prioritize your happiness in the first place. That's right. Yep. And if if she doesn't wanna be part of that happiness, then walk away. There's a lot of thousand fishes and hundreds and hundreds of fishes in the ocean. Oh my God! Look at all the fishes. <laughs> so okay, we're gonna go. Are we gonna do one more? Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, one more. Okay, we gotta move on. And so do you, OP. Yep. <laughs> Man, love making is so amazing. I'm so sad you're missing all of the fun. I know. <laughs> you should be busting nuts like twice you're a right. day, seven times a day. First, first time married couple. Oh my, nobody's gonna stood up the next day. <laughs> 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 you're gonna complain your pee pee hurts, dude. Yeah, and then you'll be like, I need to go get tested. And she's like, I'm a virgin, you don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> that's real 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 that's real banging yeah that's real banging all right okay masturbating <laughs> masturbating with one hand ridiculous already. playing a game with the other <laughs> how it's how is it even possible mobile <laughs> legends <laughs> i think i'm loving this subreddit so far yeah it's pretty cool yeah venting so the other day, my low libido husband wanted to help me masturbate, so I let him. He also let me stroke his penis, and he was erect, which was nice. I typically wear a sleep eye mask and notice that he kept misplacing the vibrator. <laughs> well, the vibrator died, so I grabbed my backup, which is not as good, but whatever. Overused vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to peek under my mask, since something felt off, and to my surprise, he was playing his stupid phone game with the other <laughs> hand. <laughs> Addiction. It really hurt me, but of course I tried to continue. Eventually, I gave up on achieving orgasm. We... <laughs> <laughs> What's we, going on? We were already talking about separating, and I felt like this just reassures me that this is the right move. 
I spoke to him about it the next day, and he said that he didn't think it was a big deal. I told him that it made me feel unwanted and unimportant. Today, we will speak to our marriage counselor about separating. What? First of all, it's good that you, you guys talk about it, you know? And yeah, it's good, OP, that you told him that it makes you feel unwanted and important. Well, he probably feels unwanted and unimportant, too, because you're laying there with an eye mask on. Not like talking to him or anything. You just, whatever, play with my pee-pee and lay there like a, a log. Maybe they're playing role play. Ow. Yeah, I guess. But why Why would we buy Gryffindor? Like, you got a middleman? <laughs> 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 what a middleman. Like, yeah. It's oh. so ridiculous. So the way I look at it, both parties are really at fault here. Like, you yeah. don't want to interact with him. You got your little sleep eye mask on. And a vibrator instead of his dick. <laughs> and then, yeah, he doesn't feel wanted either. So he's like, whatever, I'll do it. At least he's going to do it. But also, I got to collect my coins and Candy Crush or whatever the hell it is that I think he's playing. The, I think they're, uh, these two is playing, uh, this is how I feel. So I'm going to make you feel what I feel, you know, type yep. of game. Like, literally, he's hard. You said he's hard, and that's good. That means he's into it, you know? But it's you with your eye mask and uh, asking him to use the vibrator on you instead of his dick playing with your shit before anything else. Anyhow. So, yeah. Uh, why why with the vibrator, you know? It's good to have a vibrator, like, as a startup. But to, to start and to end the sexual relationship or love making with a vibrator that's hilarious man yeah i would do the same thing like hey bitch you, you you don't want me to bang you with my own dick and you want this fucking vibrator instead then go ahead I with play. no interaction i play my game you use this eye mask you use this vibrator on me i'm gonna lay here with an eye mask and you just treat me like a queen or whatever <laughs> And he's like, yeah, whatever, I'll fucking, I'll play Mobile Legends, I got time. She got her eye mask because she's, uh, what's that? She's fantasizing, fantasizing uh, one of her, you know, uh, idol, what do you call that? Yeah, Captain America. Yeah, Captain America, while you're doing, uh, <laughs> while you're doing her pussy with her, uh, while you're doing, while you're doing her. My wife like thinks that. about Chris Evans all the time. No way. I look at you. <laughs> I look at you in the eye and tell you how good you are. I know. That's real communication. Yeah. I mean, maybe wifey put an eye mask on every once in a while. As I, like... I never put an eye mask. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, just a little bit before. But, yeah, my eyes are, like, peeking. And I'm like, oh, you know, a role play. It's, yeah, it's all part of the game. This yeah. is obviously not a game for her. She's just like, eh, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> a role play is good to, you know, to turn your sexual life into extra hot. What yeah. do you call that? Crank it up a notch. Yeah, like, it's a good start, Keep you know? Keep it fresh. Yep. That's why I have wifey put a finger in my butt sometimes. <laughs> oh, no. No, she doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but it's just the outside, though. Talk to me in 10 more years. We might try it out. I don't know. Oh. I'm keeping the door open on that. That's fine. I'll make sure I clean it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Inside and out. So, yeah. It's just so ridiculous for me. OP to, you know, like you said, the vibrator died and you grabbed the back up instead of like, <laughs> hey. <laughs> get on top of me. Yeah. Get on top of me. Stop playing, you know. Like, Yeah. Definitely both people what? are at fault. I would say she's more at fault. but I think she's more at fault too. I'm sorry, Opie, but I think this is mostly your fault. <laughs> like, really. Like, yeah. Which guy doesn't want to have sex with his wife? Yeah. He was hard. He was ready. He was hard. Exactly. <laughs> That's the thing. He was hard. That means he's, you, you, you know, he's up to it. Something like that. But I think it's just you that trying to... Put something on his head that, you know, if you feel like you're you're being unwanted, then he feels the same. I tell you that. So do you think that them separating is a good idea? Oh, uh, I don't think so. But I think it's good that you go to a marriage counselor because, you know, 
uh, literally this uh, this relationship needs some more communication and yeah like I think the marriage counselors would help yeah there's nothing that really can't be worked out if you guys are intent on staying together but to me it it really seems like the OP is completely checked out she's just <laughs> I, like whatever but I think uh, it's so good because you still find each other in a bed you know instead of like not having sex for two years or so like That's the other true. one Go sleep on the couch for half a decade. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's savable. You know, they do still like each other. At the oh very yeah, it's least. it's still sex. You know, you, you just have to savor it up. I savor agree. Savor it up. I yeah. agree. I love to savor you, baby. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's not sex. Is not something unfixable. You know, it's always fixable. That's right. All you gotta do is shoot the juice. <laughs> shoot the juice. It's easy. <laughs> yeah, instead of close, uh, putting a face mask on your eyes and have a vibrator to, you know, to, yeah, to do you while 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 your husband is just holding the vibrator for you. That's insane. <laughs> That's so boring. That's, yeah. What the fuck? Look at him. Talk dirty to him. And we don't even know if this vibrator is just a vibrator or it's a vibrator that. You shove right on your pussy and a by weights. Yeah. yeah. Like a real deal though, you know? That's insane. Then dude, you gotta you gotta do something about it. Throw that vibrator against the wall and <laughs> hold her down and no, don't do that. That's probably you can still rape people if you're married. <laughs> or right? put a cock ring on your dick and oh, prove her wrong. That's perfect. We should buy a cock ring. <laughs> they don't have big enough ones in Asia though. I looked for a cock ring, but they're all small. It's it's kiss, yeah. Kiss the dad? Kiss, kiss, kiss mom, dad. Kiss, oh, mom, kiss mom, dad. dad. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Like that? You like that? Oh, he wants a kiss too. I love you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Let me kiss, buddy. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Oh, I love you, buddy. <laughs> Had a long way to go. I know, right? And also, my radio doesn't even, you know, it's not as, it's not as good as the dick. You get what I mean? You use OP. You use too much of vibrator. You're you're gonna numb your vagina. You know that. Oh snap! Yeah, and you you're you're gonna lose that good good sensation. Look at you, OP, with your big old numb vagina. <laughs> <laughs> no, <Yeah>. I'm just. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I mean to shoot shots. I I don't mean to I don't mean to uh fire on you, OP, but yeah, you got something going on here, and basically you gotta you gotta sort it out. Now she did tag this as support only, no advice, but um What is the support you want? To support you to, you know, you get more right. vibrator? <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're so right. Oh my god, you're just so right all the time. Your husband, he's always wrong. You're always right. Is that is that a healthy mindset? No. And I would say, yeah, I don't think your relationship is that dead. I could see the love in there, but yeah. I suggest if you don't want to fuck your husband, then why marry him, you know? That's true. Right? It doesn't say how long they were together. Yeah. Maybe they did have a nice sex life at one point, but it's falling apart now. So yeah, stay safe, you guys, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.